Hello everybody, Russian Nihilist here, and this video is called the Beltagese Myth, and the myth about the star Beltagese is that it will go into supernova in the next thousand years, which is true, but is that it will affect the Earth. Now, Beltagese is the second brightest star in the constellation of Orion, and if you replace it with the Sun, it would reach out to Saturn. Now, it is possible that Beltagese will become a supernova. For those of you that don't know what a supernova is, it is an explosion that sends out a burst of radiation that often briefly outshines an entire galaxy. It can radiate as much energy as the sun could emit over its entire lifespan. The explosion expels as much or all the star's material at a tenth the speed of light during a shockwave into the surrounding interstellar medium. Now, here is the way a supernova works. There is a star that uh, came by from a nebula, and once it gets too big, it does explode, and depending on the how big the star is, it could be recycled or, and create another nebula or become a black hole or a neutron star. Now, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. If I divide that by 10, I'll get 30,000, which is a supernova speed. Now, Considering its size and age of 8.5 million years, it may explode within the next thousand years. Since its rotational axis is not in the direction of Earth, and also because of its 640 light year difference, Delta Gisa supernova will not cause a gamma ray burst in the direction of Earth large enough to damage its ecosystems. The mass of Delta Gisa puts it in the range of becoming a neutron star or a black hole. A neutron star is a type of remnant that can result from the gravitational collapse of a massive star. And um, this is the Russian Nihilist, and I have just talked about the Beltagese myth.